Hello and welcome to this presentation. I'm Dr. Kasra Hagigi from UniqueSec Sweden and today I'm going to present over the air real-time automotive radar hill with car vehicle for ADS and AD validation. This is a joint project together with Toyota Motor Europe in Belgium. Now let's review the agenda for this presentation. First, I would like to introduce the uh, radar verification motivation and especially for road safety. Uh, then I will cover Toyota safety sense setup. After that, I will go through the uh, introduction of the Asgard 1 radar testing system. Then uh, I will introduce the Hi-Fi radar model integration with Asgard 1. And finally, uh, the radar RSI integration with Asgard 1 will be reviewed. At the end, I will make some con uh, concluding remarks. As you might know, now there are more requirements from many governments and in EU for future safety features that are needed for next generation vehicles. From this, we can point out some of the use cases such as automatic emergency braking, vulnerable road user detection and intelligence speed assistance. Radars, among all other sensors, have a very safety critical role in these driver assistance systems and especially in future autonomous vehicles. To be able to prove the safety of these sensors, one needs to uh, implement a lot of testing, such as road expeditions. However, these radars should be verified within dangerous and improbable scenarios, which the safety drivers are avoiding during this uh, road driving. In this case, uh, radar target simulators will enable in-lab testing that can be repeatable and accurate. And for that, hardware in the loop can provide a ground truth uh, to have an accurate verification method. Now let's review Toyota Safety Sense Hill setup. Toyota Safety Sense is a bundle of active safety features included on many new Toyota vehicles at no additional cost. TSS features a newly developed set of active driver assistance systems ADIS, using forward facing radar technology and a camera system. TSS is designed to help protect drivers, passengers, people in other vehicles on the road and pedestrian from harm. In this context, the picture shows pre-collision system uh, with pedestrian detection, emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and um, lane departure alert, automatic high beam, road sign assist, and lane tracing assist. The ultimate goal is to reduce traffic accidents as much as possible, helping to create a safer driving environment for everyone. The development and validation of these ADAS needs a specific testing environment. For this purpose, an ADAS test bench is built at Toyota Motor Europe. This hardware in the loop setup is shown in the picture. In general, the heel setup is based on IPG CarMaker with its XPAC4 real time system. CarMaker is used for the REST bus simulation and interfaces, a camera, and a radar sensor. The simulated vehicle signals of CarMaker are sent on local and global CAN to the sensors. Vector Kenui is used to additional condition monitoring and specific diagnostic tests. The camera is stimulated with a monitor using IPG Movie. For the driving scenarios. The radar is simulated using Asgard 1, a novel approach for radar or the air testing. The following presentation slides will focus on the Asgard 1 technology and its interface to CarMaker, including radar models. Finally, some radar range measurements are shown 
with a comparison between ranges from car maker simulation and real radar sensor output. Now let's look at Asgard 1. Asgard 1 stands for Automo Automated Signature Generation for Automotive Radar Verification. It's a patented technology and it's a frequency-based over-the-air radar simulator. It translates 3D environment to radar reflector points. So it emulates the distance, speed, angle, I mean azimuth and elevation of reflector points to the radar spectrum rather than creating targets in delay domain. If we want to compare uh, these two categories of radar testing technologies, I mean delay-based method, which is in time domain, and Asgard 1, which is the spectrum domain, uh, we can start with the number of targets and the way that the target is generated. In the delay-based method, for each and every one of the targets, we need one hardware delay line. However, Asgard generates all these signatures of multiple targets in a frequency domain. So each of them can have an arbitrary trajectory. In the delay domain, you normally have uh, one or less than a handful of number of targets. But in Asgard, you can have more than hundreds of targets. Moreover, because delay line has some uh, certain processing delay, minimum distance emulation is almost impossible. On the other hand, Asgard 1, with the capability of having almost zero minimum delay or minimum distance, it can generate uh, very short distances that is suitable for many radar verification in the automotive, like automatic emergency braking. Another advantage of Asgard 1 is the large dynamic range. It has up to 18, 98 dB dynamic range, which is suitable for creating perception of small targets and large targets in the same scenario. Moreover, due to lack of the processing delay, this is the only adaptive and real-time uh, signal generation system. And one of the most important differences between these two technologies is that the angles in the delay-based systems are generally generated by mechanical rotation of antennas of either radar or radar target simulator. In Asgard, we have the capability of generating perception of angles completely electronically. Let's look at the Asgard 1 radar target simulator heel system. It starts on the top right corner when the radar operates as usual. It can be installed behind the bumper, fascia, paint, emblem, or it can be stripped on a bench. So radar illuminates Asgard 1. Asgard 1 RF front end receives this signal in RF, changes it in RF with the signature that we are providing here, and then send it back in the RF. This is one of the major differences between the Asgard 1 frequency that domain method and the delay-based methods. Radar will provide either a target list or a decision from a, a ECU functionality, such as adaptive cruise control. Environment simulator uh, can close the heel by producing the environment and for by receiving the decisions of the radar to have a full closed loop heel. Asgard has a UI for controlling and setting up the parameters and also providing some simplified scenarios. The target processing unit will receive the scenario from the environment simulator, including the targets and then providing it to the analytical signature generation. And finally, we will produce a signal that is corresponding to this signature and uh, it's converted with a digital to analog conversion uh, to be provided to our front end. So, as you can see, all these arrows are fit forward. There is no down conversion from the RF to the baseband. Target list can be evaluated by Asgard itself, or it can be provided to the environment simulator soft or hard ECUs. 
One of the use cases of Asgard is this uh, scalable solution for full vehicle heel testing. One can have multiple Asgards used for testing and verification of multiple radars in a complete uh, sensor fusion setup. So all these radars can provide a synchronized scenario for the whole vehicle. And even if you have a camera, you can stimulate it with the IPG car maker to have a synchronized sensor fusion setup as well. Now let's look at the CarMaker Hi-Fi radar model integration with Asgard 1. So Asgard 1 uh, CarMaker heel setup consists of an XPAC 4 real-time heel that is connected via gigabit Ethernet to the CarMaker heel um, running on a PC and then uh, with, uh, via another uh, gigabit Ethernet interface XPAC4 communicate with Asgard1 over UDP and the API that we are providing and it emulates the targets. So it's in front of a radar under test which is connected to radar UI basically. Now let's look at the information that is sent from the CarMaker Hi-Fi radar model to Asgard1. We use the IPG uh, C interface to extract and send the target information to Asgard 1. And there is an API that is implemented inside the CarMaker uh, C interface. And that server uh, packs up the range, radial velocity, azimuth, elevation angle, and RCS. You can see the UI interface of the radar user interface of CarMaker. And these are packetized and sent over UDP to CarMaker, uh, from CarMaker to Asgard uh, to be generated for the radar under test. To be able to have a fair comparison between the Asgard uh, perception and also radar recording, we have a setup to extract the timestamps from the CarMaker signatures and then uh, record the radar in sync with the uh, timing that is extracted from the uh, UDP information that is come. We use the car maker as our ground truth and then we record the radar that is corresponding to that ground truth. So here you can see that the car maker output is the red line. The green one is uh, the one that is uh, recorded in sync with a radar recording that is in sync with the uh, extracted uh, reference. And the blue one is without the synchronization. Now let's look at uh, an application of this setup. Here we have two radars. Uh, we call it radar profile one and radar profile two. One of them is not capable of detecting target in certain scenario. So this is a scenario with multiple target with high speed and so forth. And at certain point, uh, radar two is missing the, tar uh, the target uh, in a very uh, complicated uh, driving scenario. In this slide, we see a live demo from Asgard running with, together with CarMaker. On the right hand side, you see the IPG CarMaker movie, and you see the field of view of the, the blue field of view of the Eco Vehicle radar, and uh, it shows the overtaking scenarios from uh, several uh, different trucks and cars. On the left hand side, you see the distance speed uh, of the uh, targets in the Ego vehicle coordinate system. So you see multiple targets with uh, different distances and different uh, speeds uh, all visible in the field of view of a radar. So this uh, left hand side is the perception that the Asgard created from the information provided by IPG CarMaker and the uh, radar perceived this uh, targets for us. Now, if you want to uh, compare the uh, radar output with the CarMaker reference data, you can see that in most cases, the, delay, the uh, error or the difference between the CarMaker output and the radar output is in few centimeters. In certain worst cases where the, the speed of incoming vehicle 
is in, uh, very high in the ego coordinate system, this difference increases. But the range difference, even including these worst cases, is about 43 centimeter, which is comparable to the actual resolution of the radar under test. Now let's look at the RSI radar heel with Asgard 1. We have two paths coming from the uh, TSS Carmaker hill. One is the uh, path one, where the RSI point cloud is processed and then a reflection list is provided and sent over uh, via UDP and gigabit Ethernet to Asgard 1. Asgard 1 provides this over the air for the radar under test, and radar under test is connected to Kanui. On the second path, this point reflection are provided to radar ECU, and again, this information is provided for comparison to the radar Kanui. So in this way, we can compare the actual radar with the setup together with the scenario, and the performance can be evaluated. So the process that we are doing for this uh, integration of radar RSI starts with the evaluation of the point cloud that we are providing. Then we have a step to filter out the RSI detections because it, it, it can be a few thousand detections that are coming and we can only provide, let's say, 256 number of targets to the Asgard. Uh, moreover, uh, we have adapted the Asgard 1 to be able to receive the point cloud from the RSI. And finally, we will simulate this range radial velocity azimuth elevation angle and RCS for a radar under test from the RSI reflections. Now, if we want to conclude this presentation, we can show, we have shown that uh, we have had a, a full real time over the air heel for validating the automotive radars in this presentation, Asgard 1 is interfaced to IPG CarMaker over UDP. Time referencing helps for accurately analyze and evaluate the performance. Asgard 1 has a very good capability in creating multi-point targets with the high fidelity for scenarios uh, from even radar RSI model, which is very detailed. And this tool or this tool chain creates a perfect technology for OEMs for testing uh, ADAS and AD systems. And this will reduce the uh, environmental impact of test driving over public roads, especially the CO2, CO2 emission of the, uh, these test vehicles. And moreover, this test provides a high quality and reachable evaluation platform for ADAS. Thank you very much for listening.